How can I help you? This doesn't have enough alcohol in it. Fix it. <laughs> That's boozy as f Get out of here, you goof! Yo, I've definitely swiped right on your Tinder. Ew. Whatever. Your loss. Yo, what's the strongest but cheapest drink you can make? Your mom's tears of disappointment. But I'm afraid I don't have a glass large enough and you gotta catch them all. What, you too young for a Pokemon reference? Ch -ch Goof. What can I get? You make good cocktails here? Yes. Oh, sure is a lot of eyes for a $12 drink. Next time, just order the $2 pint, Frank. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Juicing a lime for what? The girl at the end of the bar wanted to cause more. You mean denim jacket girl that just turned legal? Yes. Er, yeah, no. Stop wasting limes. There's mixology and then there's bartending. The mixologist knows that a Cosmo is vodka. Vodka citron, cranberry juice, triple second, fresh lime juice. Yeah. Bartending is knowing when someone just wants a vodka cran and a martini glass. What can I get you, sir? Damn it, he's one of those I'm not your dad types. Oh, come on now, I'm not your dad. No need to call me sir. <laughs> I never met my dad. Maybe if I had, I wouldn't be working here in this fuck. What do you got on tap? I'm gonna name them all. You're gonna complain I don't have your typical piss water and order the closest thing to it. You good, son? What? Oh, yeah. Sorry, sir. I, I, I mean... They call me Frank. Well, Frank, on tap, I've got Heineken, Stella's Keith, Sleeman's Brown, Milstreet Organic, GLB, Keith's Peroni, and Budweiser. No Canadian, eh? Frank, why don't I just pour you a Budweiser while you ask me about the hockey game I clearly couldn't watch because I've been at work all day. You won't notice the flavor difference because you're already half in the bag. I can go back to flirting with the hottie over there that I'd rather be talking to. And no, Frank, before you ask, I don't want to see pictures of your dog or your kids. Cool? Oh, for fuck's sake. Anyway, where's my usual hottie? Jesus Christ. Don't know, Frank. You know the one. Redhead, really nice personality. Seriously? Oh, come on now, pretty young thing. Skirt's always a bit too short. Not worth the jail time, not worth the jail. Oh, but it'd be so, no, no, I can't do it. Can't do it. Kayla, no, Kyla, Kylie. Kalani? I said Kylie. Where is she? Don't know, Frank. Come on now, no offense. I'd rather watch her work if you know what I mean. <laughs> Isn't bartending more of a woman's job? You're one of those babies that should have been swallowed, aren't you, Frank? Don't you? Th ah, never mind. I don't have the time or the crayons. You don't have the balls, do you, boy? You spewing gender stereotypes more fluently than English is actually astounding. One moment you're talking so nicely about your daughters, and then poof, like magic, you just start objectifying a lovely young woman who also happens to be my wife. Now get out of my bar! For fuck's sake! JRs, how can I help you? Bit of a shot in the dark, but you got any tables tonight? We do actually, and people are sitting at them. We've been booked for months, people. Jesus Christ! Thank you for calling Johnny Rocco's. How can I help you? How long's your wait tonight? Longer than my patience is for that conversation. My name's Judd. How can I? I'm calling to make a reservation for tonight. My name's Jennifer. I'm friends with the owner. Well, let me put you on hold while I check availability, okay? All right, team, we've got another one. This one seems as optimistic as she does self-entitled. Bets are now open, $5 a square. Closest one, two, without going over, wins the pot. Plus, she's friends with the owner. Place your bets. Bets are now open. How long will she last before she hangs up? <laughs> All right, third time's a charm. <laughs> Have you decided, <laughs> Eric? <laughs> Surprise. You're adopted. Excuse me? Every Saturday, this lady comes in talking about her boy, Eric. I'm not misremembering. It is Eric, right? Right. <clears throat> yeah, she's always gushing. Oh, perfect little Eric. What a sweet, innocent little boy. How I wish I kept him. But, you know how it was back then, a baby being born out of wedlock. Can't believe I just put two and two together. <laughs> Crazy. It was your hum. My hum? Yeah, you both hum Mamma Mia whenever you're undecided. It's uncanny. You're adopted! It's the only possible answer. What? You said to surprise you. I it was a trick. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Act like you've been to a bar before. What can I get for you? 
Damn it, influencers. Girls, this place is so cute. Photo op. I can take the picture. Oh my God, let's make someone take it for us. Yes, girl. The wheel spins, but the hamster's dead. Um, do you work here? No, I just stand this close to thousands of dollars worth of alcohol. Hey, black shirt guy, I asked you a question. What? Yes, I work here, Mercedes. I need you to take, how did you know my name? Shut up. I need you to order a drink or go play wannabe influencer somewhere else. I still don't get how you knew my name. Your one hit wonder TikTok that somehow got 2 million views? I filmed that. I work at all three restaurants that your daddy owns. We've met a few times. Mercedes. For Fox Lake. Typically, I don't drink draft beer. What the hell's the matter with you, son? Doesn't drink draft beer. Imagine your favorite beer getting ready to leave the brewery and now picture it getting violently pumped into what pop culture and frat parties have labeled a keg. But what is a keg? It's a recycled tin can, Frank. A recycled tin can that may or may not have been washed. This keg begins its journey to smaller stores for distribution via truck. A truck that may or may not be refrigerated, driven by a driver that may or may not make frequent stops to call his very may or may not be pregnant wife. Arrived at the smaller store, our keg patiently sits on the loading bay. A loading bay which may or may not be exposed to direct sunlight. Repeat this nightmare just to get the keg into the bar fridge, but now add three to three thousand feet of food grade vinyl tubing. Tubing which may or may not be clean. Finally, it cascades into a glass which, which may, may or may not, not be clean. clean. Served by a bartender who may or may, may not, not have recently, recently washed, washed their hands. hands. Delicious, right? I can't believe you served me that crap all these years. Settle down, Frank. I drink our draft all the time. Our lines get cleaned regularly. Our glassware is pristine and so on. What can I get you? Extra dirty vodka martini with three. <laughs> That's our juggler. He's on next. Bro, sort of buggy. You got a cloth? I spilled some of my beer. No worries. I remember my first beer too. So did you get a haircut? No. I got all of them cut. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I got one for you. Point to the heavier of the two objects. Nope, that's the lighter. Getting <laughs> ID is always so tense and awkward, huh? Yes, very uncomfortable. That's why I like to keep a small piece of red sponge glued to my nose on my driver's license picture. So when I get pulled over while the cop's inspecting my ID, I pull out a clown nose and by the time he looks back up at me... <laughs> what can I get for you? Make me a between the sheets. Right away, sir. Just need you to look away so I can Google that. Bro, can we get some tequila shots? <laughs> of course you can. Would you like terrible, not so terrible, or impress people with your money? Do you have sangria? Watered down juice with minimal alcohol at a premium price? It'd be crazy not to. Make it strong. Go f yourself. So what's your real job? Go f yourself. That was out loud, wasn't it?